Would you like to reduce the energy usage in your home and save money on your utility bills? The City of Rocky Mount offers free energy audits to Rocky Mount Public Utilities customers. By signing up for energy audits, customers can learn how energy is used in their home, how to reduce their energy consumption, and how to reduce energy costs. Stay tuned for an inside look at the energy audit process. As part of the audit process, the auditors will present the customer with a complimentary energy kit that contains various items to help reduce energy usage. The kit contains four compact fluorescent light bulbs, a low flow shower head, a can of insulating foam sealant, an air filter whistle, a hot water gauge, a refrigerator thermometer, a portable thermometer, and a DVD with tips on how to use the items in the kit. The customer will also receive literature on energy savings, natural gas safety, and electrical safety. We can uh, start in the kitchen with uh, hot water temperature. That would be perfect. The energy auditors will also perform a walkthrough of the home to look for potential energy savings in electricity, natural gas, water, and sewer usage. The walkthrough will begin with the interior of the home and include looking in the attic and crawl space. The auditors will test the water temperature at one or more sinks in the home to gauge the temperature setting of the water heater. 120 degrees is recommended for optimal energy savings. The higher it is, the more electricity it uses. Okay. So, because it's going to maintain whatever temperature you put in there. So, okay. whatever, uh, however high you keep it, it just means it's just going to run more to keep it at that temperature. Mm -hmm. Okay. With the water heater, if it was uh, outside in a storage area under the house or in the attic, or in a garage or anything, we would recommend putting a water heater blanket on it just to help keep the heat in so it wouldn't radiate as much. It's kind of like us putting a coat on in the wintertime. It helps keep the heat in. But uh, since the water heater is in a conditioned space, it wouldn't really be necessary that you would have to get that with this water heater since it's inside your house. To safely change the setting on the water heater, first cut off the power at the service panel box. To adjust the temperature, remove both covers on the water heater and adjust the thermometer for each heating element. The energy auditors will assist customers with adjusting the temperature on the water heater at the customer's request. As part of the walkthrough, the auditors will check underneath sinks to look for holes and openings around piping. If you were to add up all the openings around plumbing and electrical penetrations, it could be the equivalent to an open window in the home. To prevent air loss and help save energy, the complimentary energy kit contains a can of insulating foam sealant that can be used to fill these openings. The energy auditors will inspect the return filter to see if it needs replacing and demonstrate how to use the filter whistle included in the energy kit. Rocky Mount Public Utilities recommends changing your return filter every 30 days. The walkthrough of the home continues in the attic. So according to one of the recommendations, it's when you put a weather strip around the parameter, around the parameter of this access, so when it closes up, you get a good tight seal. You can also put either Jensen board or insulation board, or either roll out bat insulation in between your steps, all the way up by this basement a quarter inch. Okay. This quarter inch thick. And you have adding insulation all around this area. This right here is a space for, like in the summertime when it's 104, 150 degrees up there, mm -hmm. how it goes to cold, the high air is sinking through this, coming down to your conditioned space. Okay. The same thing in the wintertime when your conditioned air in here is sinking up through there, going up to your attic. Okay. Insulation, we recommend R30. That's the minimum code now. Um, with the insulation you have, you have about 9 to 10 inches deep. And with R30, it should be about 12 to 13 inches deep. Okay. So you could use a little more. With a newer house like you have, the code hasn't changed much since uh, the newer houses, so you wouldn't really need a whole lot of insulation. If you had an older house that was built, say, in the 50s or 60s, they'd only have like R13 or R19. It would really benefit you to add a lot more insulation to help keep the heat in the house. Okay. But um, you could add a little bit, um, but you really don't need a whole lot okay. on top of here. Okay. When not using the fireplace, it's best to keep the damper closed. The chimney is designed to draft, so when the damper is left open, the conditioned air inside the home is being sucked out, resulting in energy loss. Homes using natural gas and or gas logs 
should have carbon monoxide detectors. The auditors will inspect the home to see if detectors are in place. Another location where air loss can take place is around doors. Of course, one of the spaces where you get a lot of air leakage is around your doorway where you need more, more weather stripping. If you look right here, where you can see this air coming in, mm -hmm. any place air can get in, light can get in, air can get in. In this door, if you just adjust your strike plate, which is right here, if you just move that straight back, that door will seal. If you look now, you can see the air come in. Right. If light can't get in, air can't get in. Okay. With the, the new unit, you want to keep, try to keep these coils clean inside of here, wrapped all the way around. Right. Um, especially when you're cutting grass or stuff, just want to blow everything away, because especially when the unit's running, it can suck all that grass clippings yeah. and everything. You already see how it's getting some of the pine straw there. Yeah. But you want to try to keep that clean. And if it ever gets dirty or anything, you can make what they call coil cleaner that you could spray on that and it would foam up and you would just use a water hose and spray it from the inside out and it would rinse it out. Gotcha, gotcha. But if uh, if you had a, we also recommend just have them serviced every one to two years okay. just to make sure it's running like it should and it's got the right Freon levels and things like that in it. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there, for this, there should be a light that comes on if you if it ever gets warm in your house right. during you know the hottest part of the day right. for the city rocking it's two to six for us okay. so if you ever come out here and there's a light on and this is off so this, how long do they cut it off for? we hold it off between an hour to two hours okay. i don't know how they hold theirs off okay. um they have different plans right. or one's like a 50 percent plan and one's 100 percent where they cycle it on and off as part of the walkthrough, the auditors will need to access the crawl space to look for subfloor insulation, check the condition of the ductwork, and see if moisture is present. Throughout the audit, the auditors will point out any visible electrical safety hazards, such as missing outlet covers, overloaded outlets, damaged or frayed electrical cords, and indicators of faulty wiring, such as discolored outlet plates. At the end of the audit, the auditors will discuss their findings with the customer, including observations of safety hazards and recommendations for energy savings. A carbon copy of the report will be given to the customer that day, followed by a personal energy profile report by mail. This report shows the breakdown of energy usage and includes suggestions for savings that are specific to the customer's home and lifestyle. To schedule your free home energy audit, please call 252-972-1250 or visit the Rocky Mount Public Utilities website at the following address. <laughs>